Steward your anointing. Judges chapter 13, verses 24 to 25. So the woman bore a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew. And the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move upon him at Mahanan Dan between Zorah and Eshtol. As we begin to examine Samson's life, subsequent to his amazing call, we see something very interesting, that the Spirit of the Lord began to move upon him, upon his life, from an early age, so that we see uh, numerous occasions as Samson was growing up, how the Holy Spirit anointed him very powerfully and in a very unusual manner, unlike anyone that we read about before. We read about Samson being given supernatural strength, not just on one occasion, but on several occasions by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God coming on him. We read about how he tore apart a lion, one man facing a lion by the power of the Holy Spirit on him, and he faced the lion, tore him apart. We see how the Holy Spirit coming on him, and he fought against 30 strong men and killed them. On another occasion, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and when he had been bound by strong ropes, uh, he just ripped those ropes apart as nothing. And then he rose up and he took the jawbone of a donkey and he, uh, with that, single-handedly killed a thousand men. Uh, we read about how um, Samson, uh, in the middle of one night, he actually dismantled and carried the, the very gates of the city, the gate, gate posts of the city. And he actually literally walked into the city carrying the whole gate and the gate post with him. And of course, all of these things were done not by his own strength, but these were the unusual anointing of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God coming on him and enabling to, him to do these unusual uh, feats of strength or demonstrations of power, if you will. And so what we can say is that Samson had a very unusual anointing and an unusual expression of the Holy Spirit upon his life. Uh, Samson knew it. He knew when the Spirit of God came. He knew what he could do. Uh, he was very aware of it. The sad part of that is as we progress in, 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 into Samson's life, in spite of this wonderful, unusual anointing and expression of the power of the Spirit, his life ended in a sad tragedy. In some measure, he failed to serve the people of Israel, whom God had raised him to serve and to be a judge for them and protect them and keep them. He failed in some measure. And so a lesson to take from here is this. While God graces our life, our lives with the unusual anointing of a spirit, he expects us to steward that anointing that he puts upon our lives. It's one thing to have the anointing come on you. It's another thing to steward the anointing that God chooses to release on your life. And we steward that by protecting our lives as, as, as being good wineskins so that the wineskins don't break and burst and cause the wine to be wasted. We need to steward the anointing by protecting the wineskin. What are you doing to steward the anointing of God on your life? Let's be watchful. Let's be good stewards of God's anointing on our lives. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll enable us to steward the gifts, the graces, and the anointing that you have imparted to each of us to serve your people and to serve your kingdom. Help us to be good stewards, to maintain good wineskin so that the wine is not, doesn't burst and flow out wasted. We ask you for the grace to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.